Okay, testing, testing. Okay, all right, great, it's working. So welcome one and all to the live stream. It's nice to have you here. Um, today we will be doing the usual and we will simply just be attempting to transcribe some video game music, which we will then, you know, upload a quick tutorial on the other channel, which is listed in the description below. So I'm going to get started like always. Don't, doesn't seem like anything else needs to be tended to, okay? So great, so we already have the music in here. Ooh, that's a little loud. Let me see. Let me just go ahead and... Okay, so I'll go ahead and put this in its separate channel. Give it some color so I know that it's something else. And you know what, why don't I just use the color it gave me? I don't oh, it's gone. It's too late. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and lower it. Okay, that's not as bad anymore. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and split it at the beginning so I can assure that the music starts immediately right at the beginning that will make it much easier for me to get the tempo so now that's exactly what I'll go ahead and try to do I need to go ahead and get the tempo for this music let's see so I'm really just gonna have to take a guess for a while until I get closer Okay, now that's a little too fast. Let's try 150. A little too fast. Okay, let's try 45. Okay, now it seems like I'm a little too slow. Yeah, this is essentially the process I go through when it comes to getting the tempo. So it seems like it might be between 140 and 145. Let's see here. Okay, too slow. 42. Too slow. 44. It might be one of those pieces that when it comes in into FO Studio, it's a little weird. Let's see. Okay, I see a problem here. Okay, it should probably sit around here. So I'm going a little farther into the music to see how this would be timed. Maybe I should go lower, let's see. Okay, it doesn't seem, okay, I should go a little faster than that then. Hmm, oh dang it, there we go. Still feels a little slow. Yeah, this is essentially the process we have to go through. Let's see here. Maybe a little up. Oh no, I want it to be there. All right, this usually doesn't take very long though. Let's see. Gonna go a little there, let's see. Okay, yeah. Always have to go to the end of the music. Okay, maybe a little lower. Wait, oops, let's see. Okay, that should be good. Okay. Hopefully this one isn't too weird because it usually takes not too long. too far behind okay I'm gonna work with the notes a little while and then I'll come back to this because it can get a little weird and that's too weird for me so <laughs> why don't we go ahead and get started on a couple of notes for the melody and I will come back to the tempo very, very soon because it's not a good idea to leave the tempo unattended for too long. So we'll get to that. And hey, welcome to the live stream, Super Luigi guy. It's nice to have you here. <laughs> good stuff. Hope, hope your day is so. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, um, hope everything is well. All right, so I guess we'll start. Oh, yeah, of course, we'll start with a piano. I don't think you guys can see the drop down menu. So, what I'm clicking on right now is called FL Keys, and it's basically just a piano VST. Let me see the sound. Okay, we're fine. And they are different settings, so you can get something that sounds a little different. So, why don't we go ahead and try something a little different? Just a teensy bit. Oops. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Should be okay to go. So. Alright, let's see what these notes are. And let me go ahead and raise the volume a little bit. I don't want to do it too much because I know the music's kind of loud. Okay, we should be fine. So, let me go ahead and basically get started. And like always, I usually get started with the melody first. So, it's usually the easiest. Although, sometimes I'm proven wrong, so I guess we'll see how this goes. <laughs> it sounds, it doesn't sound difficult to me, so we should be okay. Too high. It sounds this, like this note. Let's, let's see. Yep. Okay. Okay. I want to try to guess the notes. I think it's this one. I think it's going to be that. Let's see. Oh, okay. Was I wrong? Wait a second. Okay, I think that sounded pretty correct. take this a little slowly right now okay I'm I am gonna have to raise this volume a little bit actually let me leave it like this and I'll just raise the volume on my speaker Okay, yeah, it is that note. Yeah, that's the note. Oh, oh no, it's not. It's the same note. Okay. Let me go ahead and change these values because these should probably be in the middle. A mixture. There we go. Right in between. Hmm. And I thought it was a note, a note lower. All right. Well, guess that's the way it'll be. All right. Okay, and I hear it again. Okay, same note. Hmm, maybe it's just these two notes. Okay. Alright. Guess we'll be repeating that for a while. Hmm. Thought there was a note between those, but I guess not. Uh, let's see where it starts. Okay. 
Not difficult. So far, so good. Ugh, I hate when this happens. I don't know why, but every time I copy paste a section in the music, it always gets out of rhythm. Like it will always be slightly off and then I have to readjust it myself. I'm not sure why that happens, but uh, what can you do? All right, and this one's a normal note. Okay, now we're getting off tempo here. Okay, so maybe this is a little faster. Let's try and figure this out again. Let me go ahead and lower this volume. Oops, I just reset it. Oh well, that's okay. completely. Oh, is this finally it? Okay, I think it's going to be 148 or a slight adjustment for 148. Yeah, slight adjustment. Music. Okay, I'm gonna raise this. Okay. Sure, you'll probably get out of, tempo. <sighs> out of tempo. It's acting quite strangely. I'm just gonna go ahead and listen to the entire thing right now because the tempo is acting up. It's almost done. Okay, looks like this is the right thing. We're going to serve. So what a weird 
third case. Huh. Yeah, this is just one of those rare cases where I have a really oddly specific time, not time signature, oddly specific tempo. I mean, look at that. 147.9600. Huh. 960. Ugh. Wow. Well, sometimes that happens. Well, at least we have it now, so that's all that matters. So now we can actually continue properly. Wow, okay, I'm gonna double check one more time because I must be crazy. It sounds like there's some note that goes all the way down there. Not just these two, but something that goes down. Hmm. Weird. Let me just try it really quickly. It sounds like this, but I kind of hear something like this. Hmm. Strange. Okay, I need to listen a little closely. Okay, yeah, this is, it gets weird like this sometimes, but it really does mean you have to listen closely because first I heard something like this, but now I hear some kind of half note right here. This is basically what I hear now. No, not this, like this. You know what, I guess we're going to have to just, because even then it sounds like an interval way too far apart. And let me go ahead and compare them. Yep, sounds like the same note. So for now, I'm just going to play by what I'm assuming to be it, but we can always come back and refine these details later and see if it's really those notes or not. So I guess the mystery isn't exactly over, but for now, we accept this as a solution. Oh, okay, let's put another up here. Oh, I forgot. Okay, let's go ahead and extend those. Yeah, this is good. All right, now let's move on. And for those of you that haven't played Sonic Rush, or any of the two Sonic Rush games, it's on the DS, and it's, I'd say it's, ah, uh, man. How would I describe it? Unfortunately, I see it as kind of an average game. It's not exactly amazing. The soundtrack is great for both of the games, but uh, gameplay, it's kind of mixed. Guess I'm gonna have to keep repeating. Okay, let me just. Okay. That's a lot of repeating notes. Luckily, these aren't getting out of rhythm, so I can just paste them in. Okay, and this one's pretty basic. I think this might be an overall simple piece to work with. But you never know. It seems like these days music will just 
surprise you. <laughs> so let's see what happens. Sing a lot of these notes. Hmm. We'll find out. Or maybe not. It really depends on what we need. If things get weird, we'll try and find a scale. <laughs> Simple so far. I like this piece though. I remember playing Sonic Rush for Adventure for what? First time. This was immediately my favorite music. It's really good. I like it. Well, I mean, Sonic games are pretty much known for their extremely catchy music anyway, so that's just about a given. But yeah, I had never listened to Sonic Rush's OST until that day, so... Good stuff. <clears throat> That's not right. Oh, let me rename this as well. Alright, let's see here. Okay, this is messing with my head. I think I should have done White of Sky from Sonic and the Secret Rings. I was kind of thinking of doing that one today, but... I guess this is what we're going with. We already started. Okay, let's see what this is right here. Hmm. I feel like I'm hearing something like this. Okay, why don't we get these notes first? But it's really just this repeating pattern, actually. Okay, a little too simple. Uh, it's probably the exact same thing, so let's just go ahead and get that. Okay. Let's see. And that one, yeah, no, and that part. Oops, I think I got that off time. I 
I don't think this one should be too hard to do based on where we are right now. Yeah, that's what I hear. All right. This, the thing, okay, so I think I can describe exactly the thing about this piece, or at least the lead right now. So if you can take a listen to it right here. So with the music, with, what, with whatever synth it's using, and for the melody, what it is, what it's using is something called portamento. So, notice how you know when we just press a note, we just hear that note, you know. But with portamento, basically, every time you change notes, which happens basically all the time, you know. Basically, the next note will. How do I put it? Sl you will basically be sliding up to the next note every time you know, you go to the next one. So while with the piano, we just have this. If, say, they start here, you, you'll probably hear it, let's see. Notice how you don't just hear this, but it's like, like a weird slide. Like almost as if it's kind of out of pitch. So, that's just the big difference and why it can be a little weird with this one to figure out where it's starting from, but it, it slides up relatively fast, so it shouldn't be a problem. Let's make sure we get this right. Okay, check again. Was that, was it that high? Hmm. I don't think it's that either though. Or it actually could be. Hmm. That might, okay. Let, why don't we take this opportunity and attempt to get that scale? Let's take a look and see if we can get it. So we have a G right there, F sharp, D, C. What else do we have? Another G sharp. Oh boy, it's just nothing but this. <laughs> wow. Okay. So it really doesn't change much. Okay. Let's see what else we had. Okay, we have five notes. All right, one, two. Hmm. Maybe we can get a little, just a teensy bit of the bass part to help us determine this. See what we get. So, gotta make the evil clone as always. Um, bass. Change the color so no one notices. And let me just make a new pattern very quickly. See if I can figure this out. Okay, that's not different. I, I need some different notes. That's how I'm going to determine this scale. Okay, maybe we can skip ahead and get that part. Let's see where we are right now. Okay. All 
Okay, what note is this? Okay, perfect. Let me make sure this can be heard. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna copy these, see if I can get anything different out of them. Let's see. I got a C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp. Another G sharp. All right, we already have G sharp. We already have F sharp. We already have D sharp and C sharp. Oh my gosh, that gave us nothing different, huh? Now there are scales out there that only use five notes, but I don't know, huh? I guess for now we'll just have to keep these five notes in mind because I haven't heard any other notes so far. Same notes. Okay, what about this one? Ah, oh, F sharp again. <laughs> same notes. Yeah, oh wow, okay, see, it's the same notes. Oh wow, this one is incredibly simple. Wow, five notes. Okay, it just might be. Because there are scales out there. And I believe they're called pentatonic scales, which basically only use five notes. Let's see here. Hmm. All right, I'll keep this one in mind, but we will just keep moving forward with those five notes in mind. All right, pattern four is taken, never mind. Pattern five it is, and we're gonna go back to the melody and get that one started. Very simple. This is seeming like nothing compared to what we worked on yesterday. That was, oh, that one had us going all over the place. Here, we're just kind of repeating the same pattern. Okay. I mean, I think it still sounds good, but wow, okay. I should have thought this one through. <laughs> All right, is this not playing for some reason? Oh, pssh, didn't even put it in yet. All right. Okay, yeah, only five notes. Let's see. And what do we put for pattern what? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Interesting. 
interesting, interesting. And let's see what the pattern for this is. Hmm, where is it? <clears throat> hole and a half. Hole, 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 and a half. Okay. Weird. Let's see. Hole. Okay. Hole and a half. And we started from here. Hole and a half. Hole. And another hole. Did we get this? Nope. It's probably not that one. What about if we put G sharp here again? Hole and a half. Hole. Another hole. Step. Okay. Another hole and a half. And another hole. Okay, so would you look at that? This is quite a different scale. But all right. This is the, um, let's see. Oh, and this is a minor? Yes. So this would be G sharp minor pentatonic. Huh. Interesting. Only five notes. I mean, I've covered quite a few pieces, but I haven't, I don't think I've ever really come across anything yet that's only used five notes. Oh. Okay. Wow. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Maybe we can finish this fast. All right, let's see. Um, 37 minutes, not bad. Let's keep going. Okay, pretty sure that's just gonna repeat. <laughs> because everything keeps repeating. Oh, man. I think I probably should have chosen something else because even though I could probably stumble and even fail when it comes to getting other kinds of transcriptions done quickly. They do provide quite, you know, a bunch of different things happening. This is kind of weird. Or not weird, but it's very simple. Oh, I think this one is easy. going to do is make this one unique so that way when we need to edit the actual velocity of the notes to make things sound more dynamic and interesting and more human you know um we can do that without having edited the same exact pattern but just pasting it <laughs> Okay. Ah, the same thing again. <laughs> the end of it I think for the melody Wow 
Okay. I guess that's really it. Huh. Not exactly what I was expecting, but I guess it really was that simple. Okay, then. I guess we might as well see how fast we can do it because it's so incredibly simple. <laughs> There's really not much to it from what I'm seeing, so... <laughs> And it's using a pentatonic scale, which is only five notes. It's just five notes, okay. I think it's lower, by the way. Much better. And I guess it will just do <laughs> what, like a music speed run? How fast you can possibly do this while being accurate, though. Let's see. sure that's what it is. Let's go. <clears throat> Alright, now let's keep going. Pattern 11. that one a little better. Let me see. Okay, that should be correct. Probably another pattern we can. <laughs> Might be a little too loud. one wasn't so clear. Wow. So I guess that's it. better. So let's go ahead and unmute these and bring them back to life. Oh boy. This is going to be quite simple. Let's see. We spent... 45 minutes so far? Okay. Let's see if we can do this in two hours. Let's see here. It's 
12. Simple, simple. Oh, man, there really isn't much. Another one. If only life was this simple. All right, this one's next. I need to fix that, which really isn't much. Let's see here. Okay, I need this to be active.
okay, I can't lie. I like the music, but it's I, uh, this is a little boring. <laughs> it's really the same thing over and over. It's the same thing. <laughs> Nothing really changes. a problem. Jeez. All right, no problem. Let's keep going. I'm sure we can do this. Let's see here. Copy paste. Wait, did I? Uh oh. Whoops, did I forget to make that unique? Oh, no, I'm okay. this for a while. is done. Well, at least for this part. Now I have to get those sustained notes. Oh boy. Probably those pads. And make yet another clone. Oh, nah, not really chords. I don't hear much, to be honest with you. And time to move on. Let's see what this one gives us. Let me raise it a little bit. Okay, I do hear something else, but let me focus on the sustain notes for now. Okay, so 
that's where we're going to get started. Still the same five notes, so. to sustain them for the entire length of the measures. Okay, there's something else that plays there, but again, we're just going to focus on those sustain notes for now, <clears throat> and we will shortly get to those quick ones now and then. Right here. Okay, this one's different. He's not like the others. Let's go ahead and change this. hoping I could just ah uh, whatever it's okay oh wow none of my history was saved this is weird I don't know what's up but something does not feel right it's supposed to save history huh weird and it didn't have that I feel like I should be concerned, but for now, I should just move on. the music but once again this is just incredibly straightforward it's not even funny <laughs> huh i'm not even sure if i should count that part it's kind of like a percussion instrument here i'll experiment with it really quickly and if i I mean, like I said, 
I think it's a percussion instrument, not just something normal. So we'll see. an open one. Hmm. Let me see. Okay, I never knew I could do that. Wow. <laughs> I just learned a new shortcut. Amazing. That is so cool. It glows. <laughs> oh, wow, I never knew that. Okay, I'm not sure what use I would have for that, but... Cool. <laughs> Interesting. I never knew that shortcut. Here, why don't we listen to what we have so far and then decide because again this sounds like a percussion instrument so I, we're, we're only trying to get the ones with those clear pitches <laughs> I guess it plays without it. Okay, at the very, so at the very least, I know there's something that does play, so. Huh, where should I put this? Uh, I'll, sure, I'll give it its own special place. You know what? No. Just go ahead and use the one we already have. Pads. It's not a pad, but we can make it work anyway. Sure, let's see what we can do.
All right. To be honest with you, like I said, it's really simple. I have no idea what I'm missing right now. Huh. Very, very simple. Huh. I guess, I, yeah, I mean, it's only been an hour. I could probably finish it today. I just need to know what's missing. So basically, I'm just going to go through the piece one more time then. And if I don't detect that anything is missing, we're basically going to go and finish this. We're going to make it sound good, and we'll just go ahead and, you know, finish the piece. So let's see if anything is missing. So I did indeed miss something, although very small, right here, wherever it is. Okay, so that's really it, so we're gonna go ahead and just finish it up then. Alright, first we will make the MIDI. Now that we have those two versions that I'm looking at right here, we're going to go ahead and access the one that's purely just the MIDI, and we'll make that one work. Let's go get it. And just go, oh yeah, I remember that. Where did it go? I just saw it. Oh wow, I haven't used that in years. I remember that. It's like this little tiny thing that dances when the music comes or something. Where is it? 
when the music starts. Where do I put it? Here? Hey, hey there it is again. Oh, wow. And I think you could edit it and everything. It's like, let's see. I thought there was a randomize option. Um, there it is. So I'll go ahead and take that out. I'll keep this because why not? <laughs> and I'll just prepare it for MIDI export. And export as a MIDI file. I really don't think I'm missing anything else. So I've already went over it quite a few times. And this is really simple. So we're going to go ahead and then we're going to go to Synthesia. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that up for you guys. Let's see here, Synthesia. All right, can't see it. Oh, wait a second. There you go. Uh, where are you? Now, we're gonna zoom through this really quickly and we're going to see if everything looks okay, visually speaking. You see, it's really simple. It's okay. I have to admit, it's kind of funny. You just see the same notes being used all day. It's kind of it's it's weird. Funny. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and ooh, police. I'm innocent. All right, so let's make this one work. Um, yeah, I didn't see any problems that you can't discern. Everything is very clear. There's, there are clear patterns going on, so it's really not going to be that confusing if you took a look at this and said, huh? You know. Wait, hold on. No, it's pretty clear. You know, maybe I'll raise those an octave anyway. Why not? Maybe an octave down. Okay, what would that look like? I think I'll put it in, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in octave down. I think, let's see. Okay, actually I take that back. I mean, I just don't think this should be too hard to tell what's happening, but I think I should probably do it anyway. Just really for that part, though. Hmm. We'll see. According to our discretion, we will make some changes. But it's, again, it's simple, so we'll just do whatever and see what happens. Okay, this is on. Okay, messed up the wire. 
record thing for a second. All right. So again, this shouldn't take long. So I'm basically going to make everything sound good. So let's go ahead and get it. And I'm going to bring this one back because why not? <laughs> Just put her in a corner somewhere, I guess. Ah, good times. Ha. <sighs> okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and replace them. And yeah, under two hours, we'll be fine. Okay, let's go ahead and make this happen. Melody, and then this is the bass part, and then this is the pads, all right? Let's do this. <laughs> Okay, I just noticed a problem. I forgot to put that part in, so I'd better put it in. I'm sure it's not going to be much though. Let's see here. Make sure I'm in the right pattern. Oh boy, I forgot. I had it in the mi on for the MIDI file, but not this one. Great. 
should probably raise the volume. sound here. Get this one next. I'd better make sure that the next one I do is a little more complicated. That should keep things interesting. This one is just uh, not very. Uh, what's the word? It doesn't vary things very much. again. Ugh. I think I've dealt with music like this before when it comes to covering stuff, but I think this one is the most unchanging. <laughs> that doesn't help at all. I guess next I'll just add some reverb and um, see if I'll use a sustain pedal anywhere and 
I guess that's really going to be it. This is just extremely simple. I don't think I can stress that enough. It's just very unchanging. Nothing particularly interesting happens, unfortunately. I like the music, but <sighs> it's just not too interesting when it comes to actually covering it. <laughs> time to use that sustain pedal oh boy yeah yeah I think I'm probably going to cover something from Mario Party 4 tomorrow that should be a good idea one of those board themes that should be good Let's see how the volume is again all right we're almost there maybe we will do this within an hour let's see oh never mind we've been on this for an hour really oh okay never mind whoops I read that wrong So time to browse. First, I need to put this here. Okay. Um, browse parameters. I'm gonna scroll all the way until we find it. MIDI CC, damper control. I think it's 60 something. There we go. one as well. just delete this that would be great yeah because there's nothing here I put this in the wrong spot okay that's a little better but we better fix that
doesn't sound good there, so we need to remove that. And enable it for this one. Oops. too much happening with this one why don't we take a listen and see if we're satisfied because right now it's basically all about details so that's all we're working with <laughs> unexpected I should have thought this one through a little more but yeah looks like that's essentially it I'm don't see anything else I can do with this I mean this is the way to pieces and it, it uses a pentatonic scale so it's only five notes so five notes for the entire piece it is but oh well not much you can do so yes I suppose I should just end it then Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. Tomorrow we will be doing the same thing as usual. I guess I'll keep doing this as often as possible, but we'll, we'll do another one tomorrow and it should be more interesting than this, hopefully. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure and I will see you another time, hopefully. Thanks and have a nice day.